If you've ever been given a suggestion on how to improve your painting, the suggestion probably was, thin your paint. How the heck do you do that? Hey guys, Jay here, welcome to Eons of Battle. Thinning your paint is the number one thing to learn to improve your painting. But it is hard, it's basically learning how paint operates. Paint is just colorful goo, it comes in many different consistencies and flavors. The paint is the way it's going to be, and you have to be flexible to make it work. So first things first, work with a wet palette. Just do it, it's cheap and it'll help you so much. I know that people can do amazing things with dry palettes, but I feel like you're just making things a little bit harder for yourself. Now, if you wonder how to make a wet palette, I have a video right here. First, put the paint on the palette. If it's a pot like GW or P3, then scoop the paint out with the back of a brush and roll it onto the palette. If you have paint and droppers, it's a little easier. Just drop it out. But be careful, I have definitely in the past squeezed too hard and gotten a big burst of paint. <laughs> make sure to leave the paint in a single drop. When the paint is like this, it'll stay wet for days. But if you spread it out flat, it'll dry no matter how much paint you put on the palette. But how do you take your paint while leaving it in a drop? Well, take it little by little. Take the brush and put it into the paint pile and then pull some out onto your palette. Swirl it around a little. This will give you a feeling for the consistency. Now you can add in your water. I like to pick it up from my wet palette. I dip the bristles into the water and then transfer the water to my paint, giving it a few more swirls. Now you're aiming to get the paint as thin as possible while still being completely colorful. If it gets too thin and looks really see-through, you can pull more fresh paint from the drop. And if it's still too thick, you can pull more water from the palette. A good way to learn the paint is to paint a stripe on your hand. If the paint covers over the prints of your skin, it's too thick. And if you can see your color through the paint, it's too thin. If it covers you up, but you can still see the texture of your skin, it's just right. It'll take a while to learn this skill, but once you get the hang of it, you will be unstoppable. You will know exactly how to make the paint work for you. Sometimes you do want the paint to be a little extra thick to create texture. Often, you'll want watery paint for glazes and washes. Once you really know the feel for paint consistency, you will be able to paint anything. We make tutorials like this every single week, and if you like them, you might consider supporting us over on Patreon. Over there, you'll gain access to some behind the scenes, hobby hangouts, and more exclusive content. But that's all for this video. Always thin your paint, and as always, thanks for watching.